Throughout history, various cultures have utilized corporal punishment as a means of discipline and control. In Russia, one such tool that held significance in meeting out this form of punishment was the batik. A batik is a rod or stick about the thickness of a man's finger traditionally used for corporal punishment in Russia. The condemned was stretched on the floor face down with his back exposed while two men sat on him, one holding down the arms the other on the legs. The two men would then begin beating the victim across the back, replacing their batics if they broke, until ordered to stop. The batik was typically made from a variety of materials, such as birch, willow, or even leather. Its length was generally equivalent to the span between a person's elbow and fingertip, and its thickness was about that of a man's finger. The instrument was designed to be wielded easily by the punisher while inflicting the intended level of pain on the offender. The batik has its roots in Russia's ancient traditions of corporal punishment, which can be traced back to pre-modern times. In feudal Russia, when centralized authority was limited, local administrators and heads of households often administered justice and maintained order within their communities. The batik, a simple and readily available instrument, was employed to inflict physical punishment as a deterrent against wrongdoing and to maintain discipline among the populace. The act of administering corporal punishment with the batik often took place in public spaces, such as village squares or courtyards. Offenders would be brought before the authorities, and the punishment would be carried out as a visible warning to others, emphasizing the consequences of disobedience or criminal behavior. This public display of punishment was intended not only to discipline the individual, but also to instill fear in the wider community, thus serving as a deterrent against future transgressions.